right, kid. When you're through with that, I got another job for you. All right, Jerry. Be through in a minute. Hey, Danny. Fill her up and check the oil, will you? All right, Mr. Williams. Oh, Lil, you take the car. I'll be tied up for a little while. Say, you're new here, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. How did you come to work here? Mr. Williams gave me the job. He's a swell fellow, lady. Says I got a great future in this business. Yeah. A future. All right, Jones, we'll send over after it. Yeah. What poster I told you about? Stinger, go get the kid. That seat there we're picking up ought to be worth a grand to you, Miller. I can't use that one. Or any other cars from you, Williams. Since when are you getting so particular? Oh, it's not that, Williams. Quit your stalling. What's eating you? Russo. Russo? Yes, Russo. He says that you're moving into his territory across the state line. So what? Just this. I'm not buying from you or anybody else till you get straightened out. I'm just not getting involved, that's all. Nobody's getting involved. You just leave Russo to me. Do you want me, Mr. Williams? Yeah, come here, Danny. You know the Blue Roadster out back? Yes, sir. I want you to deliver it to the Jones used car lot out at Midland. We're making a trade, and I want you to pick up a sports sedan and drive that back. Right. Here's some money that'll take care of the trip. If you leave now, you can be back by noon. Okay, so long. So long, kid. What are you doing, robbing the cradle? There's a smart kid. If I had a few more like that boy, I'd be boss of this whole racket, this side of the Mississippi. Well, you're on your way. Right. Say, uh, is there any papers to go with this car? Papers? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, Williams takes care of that. Oh, okay, mister, so long. Jones. Russo there? It's Jones. He wants to talk to you, Marco. Find out what he wants. What's on your mind? Yeah? Yeah? Well, good work. One of Williams' cars. Blue sports sedan on the post road headed south. Bring it in. Move over. This is my car. Shut up. You get your face pushed in. Hey, what is this anyhow? I said you move over. Get out. In there. Hey, wait a minute. Now, listen. Get in there. We'll be over this afternoon. Call you later. Where's the boss, Trigger? He'll be around. This kid was the driver. Yeah, you got a lot of nerve stealing a car that brought Shut up. up. You can do your talking when you get back to Williams. Tell him to keep his hot cars out of our territory after this. Tell him that comes from Russo. Hot cars? Hey, what are you talking about? Are you trying to kid somebody? No, honest, I don't know what you mean. How long have you been working for Williams? Well, just a few days, why? You trying to tell me you've been running stolen cars for him and don't know it? 
Oh. Well, I get it now. You're just a lot of crooks. A lot of car thieves. The whole bunch of you, you're all in on it. You're just a lot of racketeers. Say, this kid's gonna shoot off his face if he gets out of here. Yeah, you bet I am. Who said you're gonna get out? Yeah? You ain't going nowhere. What'll we do with him? That's up to Russo. Lock him up till the boss gets here. Why, you... Ow, oh, ow, oh, my arm! Ow, oh, you're breaking my arm! Please, will you? You won't get away with this. Keep an eye on him till I get in touch with Russo. You bet. Hey. Hey, what are those guys gonna do with me? I don't know. What do you expect them to do with a guy that says he's gonna squeal, huh? Oh, it's too bad you had to shoot your mouth off, kid. If you'd kept quiet, they probably would have worked you over a little and then sent you back to tell Williams what happens to guys that try to muscle in on Russo's territory. So Williams is just a small-time chiseling car thief, huh? Certainly made a dummy out of me. Yeah, but I'm sure gonna tell him off when I get out of here. If you get out. <laughs> 